Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will go over how to use Apache JMeter to perform basic load and stress testing on your web application environment. We will show you how to use the graphical user interface to build a test plan and run tests against a web server. JMeter uh, is an open source test of Java application that is designed to load tests and measure performance. It be used uh, to simulate load of various scenario and output performance data in several ways, including CSV and XML files and graph. Totally Java is available on every OS and uh, that OS that support Java 6 or later. Prerequisites for uh, this tutorial is uh, needing to have a computer that you can run JMeter on a web server to load tests against it and don't run this test against your production server unless you know they can handle the load or uh, you may negatively impact your in server, man server performances. Uh, Please note that JMeter test result can be skewed by a variety of factors including the system resources, uh, CPU and RAM, available to JMeter and the network between JMeter and web server being tested. The size of the load that JMeter can generate without skewing the result can be increased by running the test in the non-graphical mode or by distributing the load generation to multiple JMeter servers. We are using Apache JMeter as a desktop application and there are a large variety of desktop OSs in use. We will not cover the installation steps of JMeter for any specific OS. Uh, installing JMeter is very easy. The easiest ways to install are uh, to use a package manager or download and archive and archive the JMeter binary from the official site and install Java. Prerequisite to run JMeter is Oracle Java 6 or later and Apache JMeter. Depending on how you install Java, you may need to add the Java bin directory to your past environmental variable so JMeter can find the Java and key tools binary. So, uh, after starting JMeter, you should see the graphical user interface with an empty test plan. The test plan is composed of a sequence of test components that determine how the load test will be simulated. We will explain the how some of those components can be used uh, as we add them into our test plan. So first, add a thread group to our test plan. Uh, the thread group has three particularly important properties that influence the load test. Uh, first of all is number of threads. That is the number of uh, users that JMeter will attempt to simulate. Secondly is a ramp up period, the duration of time that JMeter will distribute the sort of the trace over. And the last one is loop count, uh, that is the number of times to execute the test and leave this set to 1. After that, uh, we add HTTP request default. Uh, the HTTP request default config element is, to, is used to set default value for HTTP requests in our test plan. Uh, this is particularly useful if you want to send multiple HTTP requests to the same server as a part of our test. Uh, <clears throat> in the HTTP request default on the web server section, fill in the server name or IP filled with the name of our IP address of the web server you want to test uh, in this test is msn.com uh, next setting the server here make it the default uh, server for the rest of the items in the thread group uh, now we want to add a HTTP a cookie manager if you if your web server uses cookies you can add support for cookie by adding a HTTP cookie manager to the thread group. And now add an HTTP request sampler. Uh, <clears throat> in the HTTP request, uh, under the HTTP request section, fill in the path with the item that you wish uh, that you want each thread 
to request we will set to the slash so each thread will access the home page of your server uh, in this uh, in this test plan is msn.com home page note that you don't need to specify the server in the item because it was already specified in the http request default item and now in jmtl listener i used to output the result of the load test there are a variety of listeners available and the other listener can be added by installing plugin we will use the table because it's easy to read and now we want to run the basic test plan before uh, running the basic test plan of course we should save the test plan with the desired name uh, so now i want to interpret the result uh, you will probably see that the status of the result is success uh, of course a status of our request is success uh, after that the column that you are probably most interested uh, in are the sample time and latency the latency means the number of milliseconds that elapse between when james sent the request and when an initial response was received and the uh, column sample time means the number of milliseconds that the server took to fully serve the request I mean response plus latency so uh, after running the test uh, we want to increase the load uh, and after that you can see uh, the percentage use user usage CPU and of course system usage uh, in order to meet the demand of the simulation for example of uh, 2000 users in uh, 100 seconds we need to either increase our cpu or optimize our server setup to use less cpu uh, in the case of uh, for example wordpress we should move the mysql database to another server and uh, we should also implement caching which uh, would decrease cpu usage uh, there are differences between low test and stress testing uh, so what is low testing low testing is testing that check how system function under a heavy number of concurrent virtual user performing transaction over a certain period of time or in another words how system handle heavy load volume uh, when should you use load testing uh, if you want to determine how many users your system can handle you should use load testing uh, what about stress testing uh, stress testing is testing that check the upper limit of your system by testing it under extreme loads the testing examines how the system behaves under intense load and how it recovers when going back to normal usage a stress testing can be uh, conducted through low testing tools by defining a test case with a very high number of concurrent virtual users if your test stress test includes a sudden ramp up in the uh, number of virtual users is called a spike test if your test stress test for a long period of time to check the system as sustainability over a time with a, a slow ramp up is called the swap test now our tests are finished and we will back uh, with another tutorial for uh, jmeter testing follow us on uh, hardenbit.com